Greetings, programs. This is Rich. Welcome back to Primordia. Now, we've got Gamma here. He's actually hiding in Monitor 4. We've tried... I think we've tried most of our inventory to try and, dis, you know, flush him out. Ha! Who's smart now, Gamma? Hmm. Use the sensor. It's detecting energy. That's good. Maybe the plasma torch? My lost horse. Uh, boss? I was trying to corner him and make him come out. But I think you killed him. Oh, crap. That was just a monitor. Wherever his program is hiding, it's somewhere deeper. But I think I did seal him off. But I can't see how to catch him now. <sighs> I guess when your only tool is a plasma torch, everything looks like it needs welding. Did you have any better ideas? I'm just a sidekick, boss. All I have to do is make snide remarks. Ideas are your job. Hmm. Oh. Call me David. Fair enough. Uh. Man. Were we not supposed to do that? Let's tell Alpha and Beta. I guess I should have tried to destroy the other monitors that he wasn't in. I think I might have sealed off Gamma. I was trying to capture him. Ruined. But ruined. Well, so much for no hard feelings. I don't think we'll be getting any power from those two, boss. That's not nice. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's check the data pouch then. Alpha, Beta, and Gam... and... And gamma. Four the amount of power on the giant robot's power core. Four five five three one one two. The amount of Elevator Detonation prefix six floater Horus. Why did they why did he call me Horus? Basic system operations are rebooted, but higher reasoning is still disabled. You know, maybe I can use that name with the guy at the shrine. I mean, it is a name. I know my name. Oh, there it is. Horus. My name is Horus. Indeed. Three of thy versions I have met, Wanderer, and thou art the first to know thy name, which is thine. But, if none of them use the name Horus, what makes you think that's my name? In my very body, in mine eyes, when I behold thee, upon thy image, are these words inscribed, Friend, Horus. Thou hast answered my questions, but still I shall not let thee pass, unless thou bearest in thy hand the gospel which I bestowed upon thee. Here it is, Ever Faithful. Your old gospel. I have studied it many times. Then thou art worthy of the shrine, and of my gift to thee. Keep the gift, and approach if thou wilt. So his name's not Horatio, it's Horus. Goodbye. Fare thee well, Wanderer. So we can head to the bomb now. Wow! Look at all those bombs! Thou mayest take one. Of the relics, uh oh. You must have already given away number 734. I wonder what these numbers mean. And B325. Number 325 looks promising. Number 325 it is. So can this power the unique boss? Only one way to find out. Hopefully it will not blow up, said unique. Okay. Well, is there anything else that we can... Goodbye. He doesn't know how to enter the dome. Or he won't... Well, let's try, just now Now that we know... Now that we know our name. I found the dome you described, but it is closed up. Do you know how to get in? Nay, Wanderer. For never did I plan to... Goodbye. Okay. Well, that's pretty much everything here. Let's head to the Unique. And see if this bomb will actually work. Hopefully without blowing our ship up, that would be 
very, very unpleasant for all involved. I'm pretty sure it's an explosive. You think? You can really just put a bomb straight into that machine? Sure. The pedestal draws on the radiation it's emitting. The what it's emitting? Well... Keep that thing away from me! <sighs> Assuming the wavelength is compatible, the pedestal can draw power even with the bomb intact. If that works, I'll take the bomb apart and improve the output. And then I'm going to take a long, hot recharge. Well, here it goes. Switching over to primary power. Okay. No boom? No works, boss. Nice. Recharge station, here I come. No boom. That was supposed to happen, right? No. No, it wasn't. So take the bomb apart. Improve the output. It won't work. The bomb's too unstable. Just try it, boss. Besod it, Crispin. It won't work. It worked! <sighs> That's the emergency generator again. Oh. This is just a full-built paperweight. An explosive full-built paperweight. <sighs> so, what now, boss? I don't know. Keep looking, I guess. Keep looking. Well, that didn't work, but maybe we can use the bomb to open the train at the junk pile, or maybe even the dome. Let's try that. Use bomblet on door. I don't want to go throwing that around. Oh, come on. I don't want to go... Well... You know, boss, we still haven't looked inside that dome we found. Okay, let's go ahead and try the dome. Horus. Horus. No luck. Oh, worth a shot. Okay, let's try the bomb here. It'll just roll off. Can we use the bomb lid on the AA gun? I don't want to go throwing that around. Hmm. Boss, do you think there's some way to make the bomblet stay on the dome's door? You could hold it in place. Very funny, boss. I actually was gonna try that. Uh, that won't work. Um... Plasma torch, maybe? That's not a good idea. It might cause an explosion. Well, I'm glad you're here to tell us these things. No luck. The door is too thick. Okay. Oh. M. A large M. Or maybe a rotated E. Or an upside down W. Uh, a large M. Okay. Can we put the bomb there, maybe? Well, let's use, try using the plasma torch on this. There's no reason to cut that. Or burn it. Or weld it. You're a buzz killer there, Horace. Um, well then... I don't want to go throwing that around. I didn't even see that until just now. Maybe... Ah! Okay, the pocket. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. Hmm. We might be able to learn something from such a primitive robot design. Like how to build a power core? Very funny. Alright. Hey boss, can I have that? Spare me your fantasies, Chris. Debris. Gospel of Man, Mobile Sensor, Plasma Torch, Signal Transmitter. Totally unilluminating. Totally un Hmm. Try and talk to Crispin again. Boss, why don't we just blow the dome's door up? Might as well make use of the bomblet for something. For once, Crispin, not a bad idea. Ah, okay. I know what we can do. Let's head back to the Unique, and I guess we can dip the bomb in here in the sticky grease? Make a sticky bomb? Well, now it's a sticky 
Ha ha! Great minds think alike. Now let's head to the dome. Hopefully we don't run into uh, we go. that evil cylindrical robot gentleman. We probably need to get away. Completely corroded and worthless. Oh, that that wasn't what I was. No, we have, need to go this. Worth salvaging. Do we have to set the bomb off? Disturb the bomb now that it's in place. Okay. Now, how does it go? Boom, though. Hey, boss. Do we use the signal transmitter? Hopefully I can remotely detonate the bomb. Ah. Crispin, get back. Signal. Oh, what was its name? Hold okay. Hold I don't need to look at the door again. I just need to uh need to look at my data pouch. Okay, keep going down. Detonation prefix 6. And... Is there anything else here? Ah. Well... B325. Crispin, get back. B325. Can it go into... Okay. So, 325... Let's look at the data pouch again. Three two five is m okay. That's his. Four five five three one one two hours of power. Detonation prefix six. I think that might be. That could be it. Crispin, get back. Let's try... Zero, zero... Oh wait. It's three, two, five. Okay. So, two... Three... And I guess we'll just move this one to zero. No luck. Hmm. Crispin? You know, boss, didn't Alpha, or was it Beta, mention something about a detonation prefix? Okay, six. Crispin, get back. So just the... Number six or zero 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 six. I guess we're going to find out here in just one second. No luck. All right. So one more time. Crispin, get back. Because we probably are going to need this again, I would imagine. Okay. No luck. Hmm. Well, what is the deal here? Dead Nation prefix six. numbers on the bomblet rings might be the remaining part of the detonation code, boss? Ah, the prefix. 
Okay. I see. So, 6325. Get back. So, this is the prefix. 6... 3... 2... 5. Huzzah! Ooh, I told you that paperweight would be helpful. No, you said it was explosive. I'm pretty sure that explosive and helpful are synonyms, boss. Right. Well, let's see what we've opened up here. That was a good puzzle. I like that a lot, actually. Think Big Ugly's in there? If he is, so's our power core. Maybe we should go back and get another bomb from the shrine first? We don't need a bomb, and we don't want him to get any farther away. Come on. What is this place? Don't know. It's closed. Got a closed barrier and a control panel. A sign, a machine. And that's about it over here. Another M. Above it, the sign reads Outskirts Station. Hmm. Better just to leave it alone. Nothing happens. Looks like it controls the barrier mechanism. There seems to be a card slot in the panel. So we need a card key. There's the exit. Is there anything... Nope, just the machine. Fair enough. One ticket, please. Please use the scanner to your right. Scanning port. Five mega cycles collected. You may collect your metro pass now. Now, what is... This obviously gets us through that barrier, but... Good for one ride on the Metropolitan Subway. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, let's go ahead and use that. Train's coming in. So there is. All aboard. So, what's the plan, boss? There is no plan, Crispin. No plan and no choices. We need power, and there's nowhere left to look out here. Energy for all it is. Hooray! So now we get to go. Well, someone clearly disapproved of something. Let's check and see what else we got here. There's nothing worth bothering with. A very large M. Just in case. You know, boss, sometimes it seems like the world is half full of junk. Or half empty of junk. Uh, does that make you an optimist or a pessimist? Probably a realist. And the engine... And that's pretty much it. There it is. The train to Metropole. And you said there wasn't one. Ah, uh, I stand corrected. Let's go! Check out this city. And chances are Big Ugly went ahead and took this same train. Oh wow. Look at all those lights. It's amazing, boss. It's trouble. Trust me. Sweet, sweet trouble. <laughs> I think we found our episode title. It kind of looks like um, the Pirate Island, Pirates of the Caribbean 3, only technological.
this is Metropole? Where's all the glass and light? Oh, here it is. Mm-hmm. This is not going to be what you're thinking it's going to be there, Crispin. I can guarantee that. It's a map of train lines and stations. It's a map of train lines. What else? We got the exit. Uh, boss, shouldn't we look around or something? Sure. Let's go ahead and uh, head to the exit. More anti-aircraft guns. Some kind of blast crater. Some kind of. And I'm right clicking as well as left clicking. Just in case. Boss, is that really Metropole out there? It must be. But it's so brown. I'd say it's more red than brown. Whatever it is, it brings new meaning to rust and ruin. Metropole's bleak skyline. Metropole's bleak. It says blue line. Guess we won't be taking that train anytime soon. It says. Hmm. We got some chairs. Why would someone put a cannon inside a subway station? Probably for training purposes. I want to. Uh, training purposes, get it? I want to hit you. I got it. <laughs> that was good, though. And there's another exit. This is no time for sitting around. Some kind of blast crater. So there's craters all over the place, as well as turned over chairs. Looks like wartime, like wartime London. The energy sensor is going crazy. It's coming from the top of that tower. That's probably where all the trouble is, I would imagine. Uh, boss? Is it supposed to be doing that? Assad. Well, at least we know there's a lot of power in that tower, right? Let's go find out. Uh oh. Hi. Welcome to Metropole, the city of glass and light. Can you tell me? This one is not programmed to respond to queries. Welcome to Metropole, the city of glass and light. Metromind greets you with open arms and the promise of energy and shelter. You are safe. Records indicate an outstanding assessment of five megacycles. One megacycle will now be redeemed. What did you just do to him? This one is not programmed to respond to queries. Unauthorized literature detected. What go of him? Hey! Oh, he threw the book. All or she did. You are safe. Whoa. Uh, boss, this is getting to be a bad habit. Is that a Are dream? Okay? I'm fine. That was a dream. The sensors went haywire for a minute. What happened? Well, that robot threw your gospel off the bridge. And then it said, welcome to Metropole. Again. And that Metromind wishes us a pleasant stay. Then he left. Facade. On the upside, he gave us back the power core. He did? No. Crispin, the next thing that's getting thrown off this bridge is you. Good thing I have a hover unit. Let's go find a way into that tower. We'll deal with this metro mine later. That's interesting. So Horus slash Horatio just had a dream. Do androids dream of electric sheep? Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and we'll see what we can do about finding this metro mine as well as our power source. Indeed. And we will see you guys next time. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. That'd be a big help. I will see you next time. Later days, everyone.